Hi everyone, it's Tim here with the monthly stats for March 2023. So I'm going to zoom really quickly through the heating stats because actually what I really want to talk about is what's happening with our new solar and battery system. So yeah, let's not waste any more time. Okay, so March was a little bit of a funny one. We actually used 359.3 uh, kilowatt hours uh, compared to 343 for February, slightly more because obviously there's a few more days in March than there are in February. Um, the average kilowatt hours per day is down at 11.6, so slightly lower um, because the temperature, the average temperature was slightly higher at 7 degrees instead of 5.8 for February. So the funny thing about March is that despite the fact that it was slightly warmer towards the end of the month, actually quite a good fraction of the um, reduction in the heating, you can see those blue bars there are quite a lot lower in the last half of the month, is that actually the solar energy index was quite a bit higher during the latter half of the month in the first half of the month it was cold and overcast in the latter half of the month it was a little bit warmer and a lot sunnier so both of those have helped contribute to um, a little bit lower on average for the uh, the daily use of the heating so showing that data in a slightly different way with the average temperature and the heating demand plotted as a scatter plot you can see um, the second half of the month uh, are these red dots down here and the early part of the month is the red dots who are scattered all the way up this way so you can see that generally speaking the scatter is is quite a lot bigger because we're getting a lot more variation in the weather basically so um, that means that the solar energy is not necessarily correlated with temperature although in this case it probably is a little bit um, but yeah it's going all over the place and it means that um, the scatter is getting a lot wider um, which also means that you can see that the slope the number of kilowatt hours um, that are required extra for every drop in degree c has gone to uh, gone up to 1.7 for um, for march whereas it was only uh, 0.9 for february and you can see actually the um, the average solar energy index is slightly lower than february at 6.4 megajoules per square meter compared to 7.2 megajoules per square meter for february so yeah the picture is getting a little bit more complicated um, but that's to be expected at this time of year um, but uh, probably what i'm going to do is not bother doing the heating stats um, from here on out because um, we're not using the heating very much now uh, and it's probably not going to be that interesting so let's move on to the solar stuff so this is the give energy app and this is one screen that i'm going to show you today i'm actually going to do a full review of the give energy app in due course so uh, look out for that one but for today's video i'm just showing you this one screen which shows the generation that we've been getting from our solar panel array so just as a quick review um we got our system installed and fully commissioned on the 21st of march and um, that's the tuesday you can see just there and uh, that means that the first full day of generation was wednesday the 22nd uh, we have a split east west array 3.4 kilowatt peak on each side so a total theoretically of seven point oh, sorry 6.8 kilowatt peak although it's never going to get that obviously because the array is split east and west um, and we've coupled that with a give energy battery system a 9.5 kilowatt hour battery plus a 5.2 kilowatt hour battery giving us a total of 14.5 kilowatt hours of which i think about 13 and a half is usable because the 5.2 kilowatt hour battery uh, has a depth of discharge of only 80 percent uh, whereas the 9.5 kilowatt hour battery has a depth of discharge of 100 percent so that's the way that works um, so this um, this particular screen on the app shows the generation for each day and you can see straight out of the out of the gates we were generating best part of 20 kilowatt hours um, on that first Wednesday which was amazing uh, it was nice and sunny um, obviously we had a few more sunny days uh, through the rest of the uh, that week and then it got a bit more overcast the week after that's fine that's the way these things go particularly in March but you can see um, we had a total of uh, what was that 66.7 kilowatt hours for those few days uh, at the end of March which I'm pretty pleased with and um, the last couple of days we've also had a lot of sun and I'll be showing the full stats for uh, April um, at some point um, in May I guess and uh, that's going to be really interesting to see how that changes over time but yeah super pleased with how that's working out so far but what I, what I want to show you actually is um, a different app called Octopus Go Agile which shows how um, our energy costs for each day have changed because we're on the Octopus Go tariff and um, you can see the total costs um, per day uh, for what you've been using and it'll be interesting to see how this new um, solar panel and battery system has changed our energy bills. Okay so this is our energy usage for March um, now what I want to show you is the important um, value are the go uh, cost there you can see for the first of March was £10.63 and you can see this huge amount of uh, 
um, uh, use during the day. That's our heating. That's what we used um, from our uh, air-to-air heat pump system to keep us warm. And uh, as I scroll through March, you can see um, obviously the temperature uh, did increase a little bit um, from the beginning of the of the month, um, as I showed earlier. So you'll see quite a lot of usage at the beginning of the month. Um, you can see right. So the second um, was seven pounds eighty three. Then nine pounds fifty six, thirteen pounds seventy four, nine ninety one, nine pounds oh four, nine eighteen, ten eighty six, ten eighty nine, twelve pounds twelve, ten pounds eighty one, seven pounds fifty seven, six pounds seventy three, eight pounds forty four, ten pounds eight, seven pounds thirty eight. Five pounds forty-five, four pounds eighty-four. You can see it's getting a little bit warmer now when using less heating. Um, four pounds thirty-six, four pounds fifty-six. Now I think this is the day. Yes, this is when the batteries were commissioned. So this is the Tuesday where the batteries are fully uh, discharged and then fully charged, so that they that the battery management system can calibrate the batteries. So that big chunk of, of demand. Uh, late in the day that was when the batteries were fully charging up overnight so um, that's the last day where we effectively weren't able to operate our, our solar system and um, the first day where everything was running as expected um, was Wednesday the 22nd now pay attention again to this number here that first day our electric use was down to 78 pence 74 pence 72 pence 59 pence one pound ten, one pound thirty three, one pound forty five, two pounds thirty four, one pound ninety, and one pound thirty three. So these include the standing charge, which um, I think is about fifty p or something like that. Um, so you can see for um, a few of these days, we basically paid nothing for our electric. Um, all the peak rate, which is everything um, from uh, half past four onwards. Uh, you can see um, all of these bars here effectively zero. There's a few tiny little blips here and there, but the only use we had for basically the entire um, second or last part of the month is only in this um, overnight period where we were either charging the battery up or charging our car, um, our new uh, Fiat 500e. Uh, this day is an interesting one. Obviously, we didn't charge overnight, and you see a few little spikes there, but look at the scale on the right-hand side. It's super, super low. So actually, our total consumption that day was only 0.21 kilowatt hours. Um, <laughs> so, you know, these little tiny spikes is probably when I was having the kettle running just ex slightly exceeded the uh, the total capacity of the of the battery um, export rate. Um, so, yeah, basically no use at all. Um, but you can see that uh, we've effect we're effectively saving somewhere in between five and ten pounds a day, which is absolutely fantastic. Be really interesting to see how this um, changes over time. So uh, I will uh, keep you up to date in future stats videos. Not entirely sure what format I'm going to do this in, whether I'll do this sort of thing or something different. We shall see. It's to be determined. Um, so bear with me while I work work out the best way of uh, showing this, showing you this data. But for now, I think that's uh, a big win for us, and um, really looking forward to uh, sharing with you um, all the stats for uh, the coming the coming year. So uh, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.